So some things you don't think of when you move into a boat full time, or probably even any small space, but it's like living in a closet. And what that means from a carpet standpoint, uh, have you ever had a hallway that gets all the traffic? That's what this boat is like. It gets constant traffic everywhere. So that means you have to clean the carpets. Uh, between the soot from the diesel, uh, this, this guy. His feet bring in a lot of mud and dirt as well. Yeah. Being out on the water, the sea salt, whatever gets on the swim step, tracks into the boat. Yeah. And it gets filthy. Yeah. And we have a strict no shoe rule in the boat and we wipe his paws, but it doesn't really matter. It gets gross. It's just too small of a space. So it's that time of the season. We need to get the carpets cleaned. Now you might go, oh, that's not a big deal. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Join us on the Elliott as we realize our five-year plan with the kids grown up, moved out, graduated from college. We take the dog, sold everything, and kitted out the boat so we can cruise the Pacific Northwest all while living and working in the heart of Seattle. Uh, so first of all, if you think about it, you, you know, we're on the farthest spot on our dock, so that means whoever's going to clean the, the carpets better understand they have to have a ton of hose, uh, shoot. Um, Trying to extract as much water out as they can, but at the same time getting it clean. Right, right. And then prepping it, we got everything up off the floor. Like you would. So they can clean it. Yeah, which is actually easier than you think. Like at a house, it's a pain in the ass, but uh, most of our furniture is attached and the carpet's around it, so yeah. it's not too bad. Uh, but we have to use a dehumidifier, such a small space, to make sure to get all the moisture out of here. We're heating the place up like crazy. It's 80 degrees in here. Yeah. Trying to bring the ambient temperature up so it'll dry faster. Yeah, and it's going to be a couple warm days, so we're trying to get this thing knocked out. Uh, and then we have to vacate for at least 24 hours. Which one could say, nah, just stay and just tiptoe around the carpet, but we don't want to soak the underlayment and want to keep the nap looking nice. Kind of fussy about those things. <laughs> and the dog needs to live. There's no way you can keep the dog off the carpet, so it just means you put more dirt back in the carpet after you just had it clean. So that means... We could stay in a hotel tonight. Mm, Yay! Yeah. One that's dog friendly. <laughs> yeah. And as if you watch our channel at all, it has a bathtub in it, so Carly can take a bath. Yay! Yeah. So there's good things that come from it, but yeah, it adds, uh, you know, especially in Seattle, uh, you know, we get a pretty good deal from like a uh, hotel tonight or whatever it is that we always get a pretty good bargain, so it's 125 bucks that it'll accept a dog. By the time you pay taxes and all the other horse shit associated with it, I'm sure we're into it for $200, which uh, it adds up. So, something to think of when you have a dog, a boat, and you live on it. With carpet. Yeah. So, uh, the challenge of the day, is there gonna be enough hose to run from the parking structure all the way down to our slip, because uh, we moved this summer and we have a a slip that's about at the end of the entire marina. Uh, and we're using Junior's Carpet Cleaning. They do boats. They do a great job. They're doing a ton of boats within the marina. Uh, they did it last year for us. They did a spectacular job. In fact, I have to put some footage in there. I think I've got a little bit, but it's just, it was gross. I don't think it had ever been cleaned ever. Uh, so, so gross. So, it's so gross. But we've had a ton of people on the boat this year as well. So a lot. I'm, uh, it'll be remarkable to see just how much mud they pull out of here. Uh, and the dog is, he counts for at least 10 people as far as dragging mud in this, no matter how much we clean his feet. He likes to rub his belly and s roll all over the carpet and put Basically, all be a dog. Yeah. 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 Being Leroy. Yeah. So, yeah, if uh, you're super excited about having a dog on your boat and you're a clean freak, I'd recommend you question yourself on that one. Uh, if you don't really care about that, uh, have a dog, have tons of dogs. Have dirty carpet. Mm. Junior has the hose yeah so, so <laughs> he's got to have at least 450 feet of hose because the boat's 50 feet long we're all the way at the end of the marina and I, I, we're bow in which probably doesn't help either probably doesn't help at all uh yeah made it a little bit harder on so the there guy. might be a possibility we have to move uh, i hope that's not the case but it is a possibility stay tuned mm. here's the hose from the boat. I'm gonna take Leroy up to the 
car. See if it makes it all the way to the truck. Is it gonna make it, Leroy? Is it gonna make it? Right now, this is the end of the hose. They actually had to bring in two of their trucks to have enough hose to bring it all the way down to our boat. You having lunch? Yep. Well, we got the carpets cleaned and they look fantastic. It wasn't as bad as last time because I don't know if they'd ever been cleaned. John says no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> so, they look really, really, really good and fresh. Probably cost $5,000 to redo the entire carpet. Yeah. So, I'd rather spend a tenth of that and get it cleaned. So, we'll look into, we'll look into getting some new carpet in the next season or so. But we have the dehumidifier going, so that will help stay in the hotel tonight and come check it in the morning and see how it looks. So before we go to the hotel tonight, we thought we'd come out on the lake and enjoy the beautiful weather that we have today. It's like, what, 72? Yeah. Something like that? It's getting close to being the last nice days, at least in the Pacific Northwest. I know a lot of people on the East Coast are like, we still have two more months. And well, that's true. It's not true here. So we're just soaking up the last of the rays. Hopefully by the morning, uh, the carps are all dried out and back in, back in our home. Go to the hotel. That's right. Yep. Go find dinner. Leroy's sleeping. He's sleeping. Oh, now he's awake. Leroy, want to stay in the hotel? Almost there. Cute hotel. So we checked into the hotel and we were greeted by Utah, the local husky, and they also have treats available for all dogs since it is a dog friendly hotel. Oh wow, sweet. Way better than the last place we had here. This is cool. Then it was off to the Capitol Grill for a belated birthday for John. Day two is celebrating my birthday. Day two. Day two. Spoiled. How's your steak? Delicious. Done perfectly. As always. This is the place that taught me. Take your steaks to room temperature before you ever even put them on the grill. And it's done perfectly every time. Happy birthday! Thank you. We're gonna go in and see if Leroy's been good. What's your bet? What do you think's gonna happen? Oh, he's on the couch. Oh, how you doing? You want a treat? John is taking the dog out, and I'm gonna take a bath. One of the simple luxuries of staying in a hotel is enjoying the bathtub. I don't have that on my boat. Look at me tonight. The baby's sleeping. Don't wake him up. Where do you go to bed? Mm -hmm. Not in bed. <laughs> 